very brief video as an introduction. It's the 18th of March, day after St. Patrick's Day, 2024. Chelsea got through the quarterfinals, beating um, Leicester yesterday. Manchester United beat Liverpool, which was a bit of a surprise. And they're through now to the semi-final of the FA Cup. Just a little bit of news. Now if we look down at that valley there, I've just come through Winscombe on the bus from Western Supermare. And there will be a time when I will be close to that church on a different walk to Crook's Peak. I'm actually on the West Mendip Way, coming up from Winscombe if you like. There's a parallel route the other side of that hill that I quite often take, which takes you to the quarry. But I want the reason I'm doing this route today is because it doesn't normally get done much either way. And it's because the season of the cow is upon us, almost upon us. Now, the, if there aren't any cows today, the only reason being, really, and they might be because it's hilly where I'm going and the water can drain down. A lot of the land is extremely boggy. It's saturated. And a farmer was saying on telly the other day that he can't let his cows out yet. Even though he's got nice green fields, he said, because they're saturated with water, you let the cows out, the grass will be churned to muck very, very quickly. Now, I've, I've, I've known this path well. It's often muddy, by the way. But they have resurfaced it a few times. Uh, but it's very muddy. So today I will be ending up at Cheddar. Eventually. I've got various plans A and B. Even C. About what happens when I leave Tinian's farm. Um, it's all to do with time. Because at the moment. You've got a bus at four o'clock. Then there isn't another one for two and a half hours. And it's dark when it, by then. And if that's late. Imagine it. So my wind, if that's what's determined in my walk today, is bus and time. Now the first part of this walk is all uphill. It's uphill now for the next couple of hours, by the way. All uphill. Till we get to Rowbarrow. Now they said it wasn't going to rain. They said it was going to be cloudy. But they said it wouldn't, the wind wouldn't be fierce and it would be warmer, which is all true. They said you wouldn't need an umbrella, but I brought one just in case, because when you're on the hills, you can get the odd shower this time of year. I've got waterproof trousers, I haven't got them on. I've got my socks tucked, my trousers tucked into my socks. The bus journey didn't seem to take us long today for some strange reason. I think there was no hold ups or traffic or anything. And I don't think it went into the hospital this time. There's a bus stop outside the hospital. And I've often thought, why does the bus keep going in the hospital and out when there's a bus stop right outside? It's really weird. I know it's for disabled people probably. Anyway. It isn't that far to walk from the hospital door to into the, just a, down a path to get on the, in the main bus stop. Anyway, that's that. So, I haven't been out on a proper walk for a month. I haven't even been over to Sand Bay. I've only had two short wood walks in Wilbury Woods because of the weather. And of course, there was one lovely day last week when I planned to go out and do this. But I had to wait in all day while the electrician did the testing. Even though we'd done it in April last year, 
it was due for the five-year electric certificate. He said, I know I did it in April last year, he said, but I have to do it again. And he is a sort of bloke that's very slow at his work. He charges by the hour. Say no more. Very slow. What annoyed me is when he first got here, he said, I might not be able to fit you all in. Might have to do some for you tomorrow or Monday. Now I thought, why didn't we have the choice? Because I would have gone out. I would have gone out. But I thought, no, get it over with. I might be able to have a small walk. But it went on and on and on. So, folks, it's been a month since I've been out on the hills. A month. I've even I've, I've forgotten the walk I did. I think the walk I did was Westbury Sub Mendip to Cheddar. Right, so anyway, we're walking up the West Mendip Way now, he heading towards a little village called Shipham. Then we'll enter Rowbarrow Wood area. I might go a different route, I haven't decided. If there are cows in the field that I plan to go in, I will backtrack, which will take about 10 minutes, and I'll do a road walk instead. Which isn't that busy, but it can be dangerous, of course, any road can be. I've even thought about doing it anyway. But this will be the only... If the cows aren't in this field today, this will be... Because I can't get out, out here, though. This will be the only chance of me doing that particular route that I want to do. <sighs> Lovely little flower. Come out to greet me in spring, aren't you? You're pretty. Right, that's a familiar isn't sight, isn't it? That tree. And the gates there. Look at the state of the mud, though. I've seen it worse than this, though. At least it's level. There used to be huge, three-foot deep trenches that you used to have to negotiate. Um, they filled a lot in, so it's all on the surface. Now, guess what? I've lost me Russian hat. I got on the bus with it. I remember taking it off, thinking I keep it for when I'm walking. Fortunately, it isn't cold, but I must have left it on the bus. When I stood up, there was someone sat right next to me. They might not have seen it. It could have fallen off when I stood up and gone under the seat. But it took me a while to get off and nobody noticed it. So that's gone. That hat, I've said goodbye to it. It is time for a new hat. Now, if I've got time when I get to Cheddar, I can pop into one of their sh shops there, uh, sports-type shops, and buy a little hat. It's not cold today. Fortunately, it's not cold. And I have got the hood on the... on my coat, on my jacket. Funny, I thought I might have put it in the bag Looked in the bag. No, it's gone. I do feel sad. You know, I lost that hat once before and I went, the next day, I went all the way back to Cheddar and it was hanging on the fence. I would have taken it off. I had put the bag on the side, kept, probably let go of it when I went to ring the bell to get off the bus. But I mustn't let it worry me. It's gone. But I've had that hat a few years. I called it my little Russian hat. Not a sign of a cow, by the way. Not a sign of a cow. It's too muddy. So, I'm going to buy a new one. It's the end of a chapter. I've lost that. Might turn up. You never know. Or if I see somebody wearing it, I'll know it's mine. <laughs> It'll be taken to Wells Bus Station Depot when they tidy up the bus, probably. Or Western Bus Station in Lost Property. So... Nothing I can do about it. Nobody spotted it. So there was somebody sat right next to me. Probably still was watching me get off. So probably might have spotted it after the bus drove off. So there you go. 
I've said goodbye to it now and that's it and I'm not going to talk about it again. I've got a hood on my coat, I've got an umbrella, I've got my scarf and gloves. But here we are on the West Mendip Way where I'm going to go across some fields in a minute and there's no sign of cows anywhere. So I think this will be the last chance because it's so wet and boggy everyone. This will be the last chance. Now, just one more thing about the hat. At least it wasn't my mobile phone or my keys. Do you see what I mean? It's just the hat. Now, what was good about that hat? I'm just going to talk about it, give it a memorial. It always stayed tight, not over tight, but with, with the wind and all that, living by the seaside, it would never blow off my, my head. And it was my little Russian hat. I'd had it quite a few years. I bought that when I lost another one. I've lost quite a few hats through being on buses, by the way. What I should do when I get on the bus, if I take my hat off, shove it in my bag right away, or stick it back on my head. Now, is that cows I can see? Right up there. Sometimes you can see in advance, but that might be a different field. And they might have the cows up high. Like I said, up high, they can eat the grass because it drains, it drains down. But what I've said, if they are in the field I'm gonna to go to, I'm gonna come back onto this track and go a different route. We should be mainly on a country lane. Well, it's a country road. I have walked through this herd of cows before, but we'll see what happens. There's a gate open there, look. Oh, video. Over in it for now. Okay, I have been on this track this year, or before Christmas, um, when I did, yeah, no, it might, might, might not, yeah, it might have been early this year, but I was coming in the opposite direction, and I had to cross the troll bridge and everything. That was following a row barrow walk. Now I'm just looking up there to see if I can see any cows. If I see any cows, I'm going to go back and go that way. Look at all those lovely daffodils. Look at that. God, it's gorgeous. And you can, on the way up the track where I've just walked, you can smell the wild garlic leaves. Soon that will be white. That will be a gauntlet of white. And the other walk I do, See, it's up there, the other side of that wood there. It's a parallel walk. Now the cloud, look at this cloud that's coming over now, looks like rain. But it might be high enough to pass right over me. But I have come prepared with the umbrella and the waterproof trousers. And I wouldn't have wanted to keep the hat on. It would have been put in my bag because that would have just soaked up the water. But I'm, I know I'm talking about the hat. Wherever I lay my hat, that's my home. Wherever I lay my hat, that's my home. It's gone. So it's going on its own journey. And I'm going to buy a new one. Sarah's usually crocheted me a few, but they they don't always fit properly. They're either too big or too tight, or that I look like a pixie with it on. It's got like a point on top of my head. But she did make me one brilliant one, and guess what? I lost that. This coat I've got on now, unless I do the poppers up, it's terrible for losing things in. Because I'm in and out of my pockets all the time for tissue, wipe my nose, or for some sweets. What I tend to do with the keys and the mobile, I put them away very, very quickly. And I don't like being dominated by the mobile. So, this is supposed to be the one dry day, by the way. Mainly cloudy, yeah, I know that. But it is passing over quite quickly, that. Look at it. That's a real rain cloud. That could open up. I 
I'm glad I decided to bring the umbrella because on the weather it said umbrella not needed. It said heavy coat and, and no, not, no, look it's not windy it's not actually cold but what when you need these things is at the end of the walk when you're waiting for the bus that is when you need them right, I'm just having a look still Let's see if I can see any cows we might be lucky today Here's a farm anyway. Uh, what's it called this farm? There's a sign to it. Um, what's it say? Winterhead Hill Farm. Winterhead Hill Farm. Yeah. Right. And I'm going across there and then across the field. Down across, going down some steep steps, across the little bridge, up the other side to Shipham, then over towards Rowbarrow. That's the plan, and normally I do this when it's lovely weather. Today looks a bit dodgy. But anyway, this is Winterhead Hill Farm. Over and out, everyone.